Hey, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another tutorial for Django in this Django tutorial series. And last time we s we just talked about urls.py, how we are going to be creating different URLs for each apps. So in this video, we are going to go through our first view. So let's close these out. Okay, so let's go to the views.py. It's under the main folder. Let's just do that and just go to the views. Okay, so what are the things that we are going to code in views? It's basically we are going to code the main logic of the website. So let's say your website has has to have an option to add a movie to the database. So basically that's a logic and you write that logic in views.py. Similarly, if you want to log in, log out your user, everything is done in views.py. So for today's video purpose, we are going to start off by just creating our first view. So we are going to be using function-based views. Basically, there are two views. Those are function-based and class-based. And uh, to start off as a beginner, I would recommend using function-based. So what function-based is basically you're creating functions for each view. So let's say, what do we want to display in our home page? For example, let's say if we go to moviereview.com and what is the content that we want the users to see? So let's say define home. So that home is going to be what users will be seeing on the front page. And every view that has to be viewed on the HTML has to go through the parameter request. And then let's just print this executed successfully so okay now that we have a view and we haven't set a rule to say that whenever we go to the home page print this one so this is only creating a function and we need to call this function whenever we go to the home page so that is handled by urls.py so basic approach you would go to the movie project structure urls.py and add it but now that we have our own individual URLs for each app, we are going to urls.py inside main. So first let's import views because we are going to use this home function inside URLs. So let's say from dot import views. So basically it says from the base directory over the main, just import all views from it. And these are going to define the URL patterns. So what is the pattern that we want to match? It's basically nothing because the home page is just something.com. It doesn't have like a sub URL like something.com slash login or something. So it's going to be path. And these are going to be colon, give a comma, views dot home. And we need to have a name so that we can call it out in HTML and we just say home. So what this basically is doing is whenever you go to the home page, that means you don't have any sub URLs on it, then it will call out this home function in the views. And what does this home function does? I mean, do is it prints this executed successfully. Okay, so let's test it out. Open new terminal. Let's see where we are. We are inside this one. So we need to change it into there. So now that we are in the same directory as manage.py, we'll run the server, run server and it should start the server okay let's go to google chrome and then one two seven so it says value error the view main dot views home didn't request an http response object it returned none instead and don't be don't get frustrated by looking at this because this is actually not an error because that's something we wanted it to do so it wouldn't show it in the HTML page, but it will print it in the console. So where is it printed? You can see over here, it says it's printing over here. This executed successfully. So this was to prove that, I mean, whenever you go to the home page, that is 127.0.1 is to 8,000, it will print this one. To make it more clear, let's see, let's give it a name saying uh, print. And then we need to give a forward slash and then whenever we open it it says page not found because we don't have that URL set out so but when we say print it's gonna say 
this error but it's gonna print it out over here there you go so let me show you real cool tricks so we'll first import Django from django.stp import http response and then we'll say return http response and then we'll write heading one hello world so we'll just get rid of this and then try to run it so it's going to show error because we changed the urls so it said to nothing let's get rid of this and as you can see it says hello world so this is just for you guys to understand that we are just setting out as setting it out as to html response and uh this is not a practice to you know create the dynamic websites it's just to show you guys that it's displaying in the real website and for that we are going to be use using render to actually render the html templates so uh, that's it for the first video for getting started with views.py and then we'll talk about views more later in the video if you have any problems i know this is getting frustrated because you will take some time to getting hang of it and then yeah i mean if you are stuck in any of these things just let me know in the comment section below i'll try to answer all your queries until next time thanks for watching